Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the Black China and Tiger situation. So if you guys do not know, it has now hit the Internet that Black China is demanding child support from Tyga for their 10 year old son, King Cairo. Um, she's claiming that he gives her no financial help. Tyga took to social media and he basically said the following. He says, 10 years later, nah, stick to your schedule Saturday through Monday. So this is causing a lot of debate online. And, you know, I feel this way. I feel like King has been on a set schedule for the past 10 years. When China wanted to be out in these clubs and doing club appearances. Put up. There's <laughs> a lot of stars in the building tonight. And, you know, running the streets and, you know, basically doing her. Tyga has had King full time. Period, point blank. Now, I remember a few years ago, Black China came out and she said that she doesn't receive child support from either one of her baby daddies. The second one is Rob Kardashian. But my thing is, why should she receive child support from either baby daddy when both fathers have the kids full time? She only has the kids three days out the week. The remainder of the week, they're with their fathers. And my thing, as long as these kids are being clothed, they're being fed, their are roofs over their heads... There should be no need for child support. You know what I'm saying? Because if, by that logic, then why shouldn't she pay them child support for when she has them those three days out the week? It doesn't make any sense. As long as all these parents are able to do and take care of these kids financially, I don't think anybody needs child support in this situation. But she is now filing for a paternity test. She's filing for child support. So according to The Blast, this is what was written. In a filing, China asked the court to order joint custody of their child to be split between the two famous parents. She also included details of the current living situation and says this should be done in the best interest of the child. As far as support, the documents state the court may make orders for support of the children and issues an earning assessment without further notice to either party. But we are guessing that China was specific about the amount of support that she sought in this case or what kind of support she sought. Unfortunately, those details have not been made public, so it's unclear of what she's asking from Tyga. So right now we don't know the amount that she's asking for, but she is asking for money. Now, like I stated, I feel like at the end of the day, both of these fathers have the kids more than China. China has her kids, of course, seven days a week. She has them three. The guys have them four. I don't understand what the problem is. Everybody claims to be balling and be that guy or be that girl. Then you really don't need child support. Now, if these kids live with her full time, seven days a week, by all means, gets child support, but they don't live with her full time. So it doesn't make any sense. So this leads me to feel like Black China is going broke, like most of these celebrities. They're struggling. Um, a few months ago, the son was reporting that she took out a $2.6 million mortgage on her $3.8 million mansion. So, you know, she borrowed that with interest that she has to pay back no later than March 1st, 2053. It sounds to me that she may be living above her means because, and I get it, LA is super expensive, but why live in a $3.8 million mansion if you can't afford the upkeep, if you can't afford to maintain that lifestyle, maybe sell the home and go get, you know, a home that's around 500000 maybe a million dollars, you know, like just do something like that so that way you're not so desperate for money. Um, like I said months ago when she first started this whole Christianity thing and she went back to Angela White and she took out her piercings and her fillers and all that stuff, I said, you know, I'm not going to judge her. You know, if her walk with Christ is real, then I'm here for it. But I'm going to sit back and watch the seeds that she plants and watch the fruit that it bears. And I've been watching her over the months and I'm noticing, and maybe it's because of the money, um, that she seems to be slipping to me. You know, on April 9th, I remember when she posted her Easter pictures and I really liked them. She says, for I am with you, no one will attack you or hurt you, Acts 18.10. 
She also got an honorary doctorate degree, and that caused a lot of controversy, too. A lot of people were not happy about that. A lot of folks are particularly tired of celebrities getting these honorary degrees and then being able to call themselves doctors when you have people who pay millions of dollars to these colleges and who struggle to get doctorate degrees. And so this one person wrote something very, very interesting. She had posted this photo of herself getting her degree on July 2nd. So this person says, society needs to do away with antiquated system of honorary degrees or at least hold them for the highest regards to those who have made an impactful contribution to society within a certain field and degrees that hold no weight as they're from an institution that is not accredited, is a slap in the face to doctoral students who not only apply to a rigorous program, but who had to complete years of study and research to stand before the panel and argue their dissertation to become a doctor in their field of study. Generally speaking, no celebrity should act as though they have done the same and refer to themselves as a doctor. You are not. And because it's not academic based from an accredited educational institution, you you cannot hold that regard. So and I agree. You know, um, I get that she's turning a new leaf, but I'm not going to call her Dr. Angela White. Um, just like Dr. Dre. I always thought that was bullshit, too. Um, but anyhow, as I've just kind of watched over the past few months, I felt like she's slipping backwards. And I was shocked to see her even... One, being around Krishan Rock, right? Because Krishan Rock, granted, Krishan talks a lot about God and things like that, but her actions say otherwise. And I was very surprised to see Angela, who has, you know, turned a new leaf over the past few months and for the most part seemed to be doing somewhat better. Then I started seeing before she decided to join Baddies West, she was doing this really dark makeup photo shoot where she looked like really demonic and people were saying things like, Jesus doesn't like this makeup. Um, Are you truly born again? Wait, your dark colored makeup is not demonic. Are y'all serious? So a lot of people weren't feeling this. Um, Then literally about two weeks after that, she posted a picture with her and Krishan And then she posted and promoted the Baddies East audition. And this shocked a lot of people. So she wrote, Hey, are y'all ready for me to judge the Baddies East audition premiering June 11th only on At Zeus Networks? And so people were not feeling this. Um, they felt like, you know, this is very toxic for her to be a part of this show, especially being that, you know, she's on a spiritual journey. She's a reborn again. Is that Yo, what's up, though? Uh, Yo, what's up? It's Black China. Don't even worry about that. It's Black China. So y'all gonna let me get a ticket? So, you know, then shortly after that, she posted a video um, where she's been promoting this Hearts Pure brand. And um, she's in this video talking about broke bitches and she's walking around. I think the guy's a transgender. I don't know. Um, but he's in heels. And so a lot of people are not really questioning her walk. Get broke day or drive for thing. These broke bitches stay offended. Like, was this really sincere? Was this really something that she was trying to do? Or was this, you know, a money grab, you know, to try and tap into another fan base to try and get people to take her more seriously because the money's running low? And at this point, as I've been watching her journey over the past few months, I felt like it was just nothing more than a money grab. Not saying that she doesn't have her own personal, you know, relationship with Christ, because again, that's not for me to judge. But it does look very calculated, especially now that I feel like that hasn't worked for her. The money grab is not grabbing. Um, Now she's trying to run and sue for child support from Tyga. And I feel like this is why we're here now, because the Christian walk, the selling of her, you know, Hearts Pure brand, the whole Baddies East, it kind of left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. And so the money is not moneying. And it's not just Black China. You know, this isn't to just call her out. A lot of people right now are struggling. The economy is not good. Um, You know, a lot of celebrities are not able to maintain the lifestyles that they're accustomed to. So she's trying to do what she has to do. But I think 
trying to go after him for child support after he's been taking very good care of their son, you know, for years. I I, I don't agree with that. Again, if she had the boy full times, seven days a week, then yes, go for child support. But the fact that he has the little boy more than she does, you know, four versus three, um, I think it's equal. I think it's equally split, you know, and I don't think that he should be disrupted in in what he's been accustomed to for the past 10 years. He's used to being in his bedroom at his father's house for four days a week, doing things with his father. Those four days, I don't think that should be interrupted for child support. So I just don't agree with it. I do wish her good luck on her journey. Um, I hope that she is taking her walk with Christ seriously. But sometimes I do have to question some of the moves that she's been making. So with that being said, I pose the question off to you guys. How do you guys feel about this situation concerning Black China and her now going after Tiger for child support? Do you feel like she deserves child support or do you feel like they basically had this child 50-50? So, you know, there shouldn't be any child support given. You know, they should just be in a situation where they take care of their child equally. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Don't forget to like the video. Also, feel free to share the video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.